yo what's going on guys it's been a little while since i did a normal video with my voice i was sick for the past week i'm still recovering but hopefully you can bear with me while i go over the newest full limit break zodiac character andrea monkey cutie best looking zodiac you're wrong if you think dog is better looking or any other is better looking um do tell me in the comments which zodiac character is your favorite mine's being monkey so uh monkey filament break brings her a whole new bag of tricks and a little a little i don't know what the word to, to call it i'll talk about it more when we get there but yeah she brings a, brings a whole new bag of tricks now upon reaching full limit break she does gain the melee specialty proficiency whatever you want to call it now she can go with the ultima fist she can go with the akasha axe so she gains more utility and more team viable well, team viability so pretty cool pretty cool especially with this game now being more oriented towards building around a specialty weapon um her being melee is pretty cool too bad none of the gw characters are melee for wind now upon being full limit break she also gains a new ogi effect now she gains remove one buff aka dispel i don't really find this to be so amazing because we already had a win user with dispel on her um uh, so it's kind of underwhelming in my opinion but it's still rather good because you have many bosses for earth yig alex medusa all of them having buffs and stuff like that so her having the uh the ability to dispel them is still pretty good especially when you look at newer content the spell is really good it's just that you know we already had one so i was kind of hoping to get something more unique her skill one sees no change unborn undying unchanged so <laughs> don't no change happened to that so the same skill that you pretty much know from before now sage of eternity uh sage of eternity does see a change before it used to have a three turn limit on the shield now it's a indefinite shield so it will last until it is destroyed so you have to take the four thousand damage for the shield to go away it still retains the ability to have a hundred percent hostility but gains a new effect as long as you have the not taking any damage white damage does not count white damage being white plain whatever you may want to call it you gain 30 percent bonus damage this stays indefinite until damage is taken really really good um i kind of wish her cooldown was a little bit lower it's still being six turns i feel like the one turn a little bit too long i would have liked it to drop to five so you can make it a little bit more viable for her to give it to the whole team because you know it's kind of hard to get enough turns and not take damage but it's still rather cool now her skill three this skill is i find it be a little controversial you know it's a little bit controversial as i mentioned i didn't know what to really call it but i guess it's the can't be removed plague of all the units being 2018 and like 2018 mid 2018 forward they all get in this can't be removed effect i kind of find it to be a little bit annoying but that's me i'll probably talk a little bit more about it later but just want to throw that out there but upon being level 100 she gains the ability to now lower the cooldown from eight turns to seven turns also if you didn't know how monkey buff used to affect it had a amount of turns where it would gain buffs or gain damage or game effect gain effects and then after a certain amount of turns it will lose effects now that gimmick is completely abolished and she gained a flat rate buff for six turns very very good not to mention that she gains two new buffs on top of her old previous buffs being attack defense double attack triple attack and debuff success rate because she didn't do enough we're going to give her damage is slightly boosted for critical hits and on top of that because there was not enough 
can deal big bonus damage when damage dealt in one turn reaches a certain point. Keep in mind that does not mean that she gets an additional nuke. What it means is that she gets a higher damage cap if you reach a certain damage threshold. For example, the base damage cap in the game or damage ceiling where you have a huge curve after is 440k. Having this, once you hit 440k, you can hit probably 450k a lot easier than what used to be. That for all units in the game, by the way, not having any damage cap bonuses. If you didn't know, now you know. Now, just like Anilla, she gained a new skill for called Multi Degree. It's the uh, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. It goes around that gimmick and it applies three debuffs, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, the first debuff being attack and HP are lowered on every turn. Do note that each of these debuffs can be stacked up to three times. So once you apply it the first time, you get the first stack, you apply it again, you get the second, and if you apply it a third time, you get a third stack. It's three stacks being the cap. The second debuff is a defense is a lower debuff, which is pretty cool. Um, it's kind of like Shiva in that sense, where it has the attack, defense lower, and HP reduction. But what it does add now is a third one, which is Andrea's CA dam and damage cap are boosted. So if you remember Lena's Spirit Blossom, it's the same ability here. So she gains a CA damage and damage cap, which is really good. It allows her to cap easy. Not like Siete didn't really do that, but you know, if you're not running Siete, she caps easier. It's pretty cool. Now, Queen of Monkeys sees no chains, same skill, nothing to talk about. But what she does gain is a new skill, Infinite Diversity. Yes, it's a 2018, we gotta be diverse. <laughs> um, upon Ogying, she gains a buff. And with this buff, she gains the ability to boost her attack and multi-attack as if she didn't do that enough already with her skill three. She needed a little bit more apparently. And on top of that, she gained 20% bonus wind damage and dodge all attacks from foes. One caveat is that upon her dodging, your buff is gone. So ideally, you do not want her to be aggroed by anything while she has this buff going on. She does have the ability to not take damage, but with not taking damage, you lose your buff. So it's best to have somebody else have the hostility up to protect her. Um, do note that dodge procs over sealed, so that's important. So if even if you had it sealed up, it still gets her to lose her buffs. It's kind of annoying. It is what it is though. But that's uh, Monkey, best Zodiac character, cutest Zodiac character, 2019, fight me, uh, you're wrong. And you have a different opinion, you're wrong. But let's get to a fight with her and see how she performs. And let's go. Okay, so if you don't know how this usually goes, I think I'm Medusa. Just for the cut the video time down. Um, I actually want to try doing a solo run of Ultimate Bahamut with my win team. If you're interested in that, just tell me. I'll try to do it. I don't know if I'll clear it or not, but I'll try to do it for fun or something. Um, I'm actually going to kill both enemies. Normally, I kill only Medusa, but I guess for this time, I'll do both. I so I'm mainly gonna uh, uh, okay I guess I'm not hitting the fence down that's cool so my game plan was to try and oh, I don't need it there, so. you have Neo we actually don't have to hit so I wanted to just focus purely on monkey purely so I didn't really bring much debuff honestly so it's not you're not gonna see like the most damage possible here. You'll see pretty good damage because the damage is overall pretty strong, even without capping the fence down. But if you're looking for them to cap every auto, it's not gonna be happening. I don't cap the fence down. So give me a little heads up on that. Like right now, we only really have monkey defense down here. It's doing pretty well. Let's see what more like high level defense looks like. 
the one thing about Monkey that I I don't really like the way the game's going is that, as I mentioned, everything has Undispellable now, which is kind of kills the whole point of bosses dispelling you. It's like, oh, you're using this old character, how dare you now get the spell. I don't really like how the game's going in that direction. And then you look at a, a unit like Anilla, because Anilla didn't come out in the year of everything dispellable. Uh, she doesn't have the spellable buffs when if she came out this right now, she would have it. So, I just, a little rant I had to throw out there because I noticed this for a while and it's been bothering me. Okay, so here we go. I actually find this boss to be still rather annoying. It's not hard or anything in particular, it's just annoying <laughs> you see that the main character still has her buff because i haven't taken any damage on my main character which is pretty cool so i actually really do like um monkey skill 2 a lot more than these two um 30 percent bonus damage is still pretty mediocre honestly but it's okay compared to you know all the other nutty stuff that's out in the game right now 20 percent bonus damage is pretty meh. could be better now, if they don't want to hit Monkey C, it doesn't do damage, right? Oh, it does do damage, right? Right, never mind. See, wait, oh, we got lucky. Never mind. I was scared Coma was going to go away, but I guess not. The one thing I really like about this team now is that Monkey's passive, her buff, does not affect stat any way possible, so you do gain her bonus damage upon having shield, which is really nice. Neo still doesn't get that because her abilities is combined with her, um, her, uh, what is it called? It's the thing with the EMP, support ability, there we go. This Neo's support ability is a support ability and Skaz is technically a support ability as well. They don't stack together, but Monkey's actually a buff, so it stacks with her. Now, the one good thing about this is that because the monkey gains the bonus damage right here, right? So it's still on my main character. That means I could put it on another unit. It could be any of these. I'll probably end up putting it on Neo, to be honest. You know, Scat probably does more damage. I just want to see Neo hit all the bonus damage. Pretty cool. The I kind of don't like how they change that OG. I kind of like the, uh, the ball of destruction. It looks way cooler. You see the spell coming in from Monkey. It's pretty okay. But it's like, I would have preferred something else. To be honest, if she had a shield on OG, it would have worked really well with, with, the, <laughs> with this team. So I kind of want shield on OG. I know, kind of not original because Nilla has it, but... It would actually work really well with this team. Um, you probably know if I don't have Siete because of that. Uh, I, I kind of bored of Siete. That's why I didn't bring him. Siete used so much, right? So, seeing enough Siete is like, meh. Breath's gonna hit the spell here. And four. We get another stack right now. Try to hit the fence down here. This would be a great moment if I had Shiva, but I don't. <laughs> Let's go on this account. Oh, I missed Koma. Oh, it's not, it's not a bad situation. Oh, you still see the bonus damage come in. Whoa, look at all those numbers! <laughs> Pretty fun. You see the dodge crocking in. Uh, we didn't get. Any type of debuff, I like that, I like that a lot. I think using Baja for a little bit more damage on top of everything. Even though we're capping, but why not have a little bit more damage? If you're wondering why I... So this is normally my Siete team. My, uh... So because this is normally my Siete team, I just realized I don't have the Primark in my, in my pool. So that's why you only see Monkey hit, what, 490? There's no Primark. If there was a Primark, they'd be capping. But they are capping right now. I just now noticed because I looked at my pool. Still pretty good though. 
kind of wish it came with the Primark passive. So the, this would work a little bit better. I don't really want to bring a Primark because uh, Scat and Neo do don't have. Um, they both have the passive rather. I actually like this team in, t um, in tandem. I like I like them all together. So I'm trying to figure out how to make it a little bit more better. Um, I think I want to change out. I don't know what I'll have to change out to make it work a little bit better. But I kind of li I like the team a lot. I'm gonna drop Siete for a little while. Siete is boring. Siete is so basic, man. So now we gotta use Monkey. So this is gonna be my new cute girl team for Wind. And rest in peace, Siete. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Bye.